Hello everyone, my name is Brant Kudrowski and this organic chemistry video covers aryl halides and vinyl halides. Aryl and vinyl halides don't undergo SN1 or SN2 reactions the same way that alkyl halides do. Let's take a look at the structure of alkyl halides to review. An alkyl halide contains an sp3 hybridized carbon attached to a leaving group. These are the substrates that we've been looking at that undergo SN1 or SN2 substitution reactions in chapter 7. Aryl halides have a halogen attached to an sp2 carbon, as do vinyl halides. These types of substrates don't behave the same way that alkyl halides do. The hybridization of the carbon makes a very large difference. Carbocations of aryl and vinyl halides are too unstable to form. This means they won't undergo SN1 substitution. Also, the carbon halogen bond in aryl and vinyl halides is much stronger than in alkyl halides. There's a lot more S character in an sp2 orbital than there is in an sp3 orbital. More S character means shorter, stronger bond. Hence, aryl and vinyl halides have quite strong carbon halogen bonds and they don't break very easily. This makes aryl and vinyl halides poor substrates for SN2 reactions. The bottom line is, these aryl halides and vinyl halides should not be confused for alkyl halides. They undergo reactions of their own type, but they don't do SN1 or SN2.